Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at the Fly Digi Wasp 2, a sequel to the Fly Digi Wasp, the uh, original device. You can get this for around about 50 odd pounds on Amazon at the moment. And we're going to test this with the new Umi Digi X. So let's get this open. Packaging, you can download the app as well. It's called the Fly Digi Game Center, which is available for iOS and Google Play Store. Okay, nothing else in the box. The Fly GD logo, zip it. And here we go. I have briefly uh, looked at this device. So this is the, the main gamepad with your joystick, your BA button, Fly Digi button there. At the bottom, you have the on off switch. Underneath that is a big, rubber tab you pull back which exposes a USB type C port. So USB type C and also a USB type C plug there. Now this is you're gonna need this to set up the device or your phone later on. So on this bit here it says rule the game. This is nice textured rubber, very very grippy. Your phone will sit inside that. On the back we have again a grippy rubber texture there. We also have a release button which pops up that, and then you can stick your phone in. And also behind there at the back, there's a little slot. Now you did notice there's a couple of accessories in here. This fits on the back there. And becomes a button. And you also get a spare joystick knob as well. That pulls off, and the other one clips on only goes on one way as well. So you have a couple of options there for joysticks, whatever your thumb's more comfortable with. So that's that. And in the top here, you get this plastic bag, rule the game, and a, a USB Type-C charging cable within that as well. And you get a manual as well, and a couple of leaflets. I love the design. They keep with their traditional black and yellow, which I think looks great. Now, let's see the phone. We pop it in this way. We shouldn't have much issues there. It's going to cover the the volume rocker though at the top. I'm not sure how much. So that's the only issue trying to turn up the volume. So you have to turn up the volume before, obviously different phones are different, they might be on uh, different sides. But it's one thing to consider, let's turn the volume up a little bit. You're not gonna get it perfect on every phone. So that sits in there nicely. It's not gonna move or fall out, see how hard we can get it. There we go. So there we go, it looks nice and secure. Hold it with one hand. Yeah, happy with the way that looks. And from the back. Cool, right, let's just release that up. You need to download the app, it's called the Fly Digi Game Center. Okay, so the app is open, we're now ready to connect the device, Bluetooth is on. Click connect, you also get to choose WASP2. Just turn the gamepad on. Searching for gamepad. Connection failed. Let's go back. Let's try again. Okay, so let's try and connect directly via the phone. Fly Digi Wasp 2. Okay, so now connected. Okay, complete. In order for this to work properly, you need to enable USB debugging mode on your smartphone device and also enable developer options. So this should 
activate. There we go. So it's detected that developer option is on and USB debugging is on. Next, now this is where you need to open that flap at the bottom of the device and then plug it directly into the phone. Okay, so that's in. Please turn on activation, turn the power on, turn on the power. Let's try again. Turn on. There we go. Allow USB debugging, yes. Okay, so that should be ready to go. Click start games. Okay, turn it out. Now that's activated. We now need to start adding games. Okay, so we have Call of Duty downloaded to launch the Fly Digi Game Center, and you can add games manually, or sometimes this application will actually find them automatically and put them in there for you. Open, there we go. So now we need to do some configuring. Okay, you'll see a blue icon there at the top. That is to configure your buttons. So if we go to the settings on here, just check the audio and graphics. Let's put the graphics high and the frame rate high. Go to controls, custom layout. So here we go. This is where you can map the, the buttons to the controls. Adjust. So we have the directional one we want to put over here. So I can have B to reload. So let's hover that over there. There, LT. I can have that as my grenade. So I could launch uh, grenades on there. So I could bring the A button over here to crouch. So the A button will control the crouching. Let's try the M. What is M? Test. Ah, there we go. M. Okay. So save as. Save and apply. Replace. Okay, so that's all saved there now. Let's register in the clicks. Moving around. Confirm. All right, press A to start the game because A is over the start. Superb. Okay, cool. So we have moving around, joysticks, fine. Aim, perfect. I can just flick the back of the controller. Bump. Another one. Duck down. Ah, oh, didn't duck down quick enough. This it feels a lot better holding this the gamepad at the end there. You get a lot more room. If the gamepad wasn't there, you obviously you're using a little bit more space on the screen, so you can see a lot more on the phone as well. It feels really comfortable. Fits perfectly. Oh god! Oh, do you know what? I love that little trigger button at the back. Just flick your finger on. Bang, gone. Let's crouch down A, B to reload. Oh, there's someone there. Flick the back. Oh, both dead. Yeah, so controls are responsive, which is obviously really important. It's comfortable. Makes gaming, I'd say, that a little bit easier. Now the only problem, the only issue I have a little bit is this speaker placement which is there so I'm, I'm sort of covering it really. Wow that was a fluke. I'm covering the speaker. Obviously it will differ on different phones. Obviously your front facing speakers would be better on a smartphone. Oh. So um, yes, two in one. I will take that, thank you very much. Reload. Oh, there's a bloke there. <laughs> yeah, this is very, very good.
Oh, darn it. Now, um, on, I know some of these sort of game pads and game controls have caused um, maybe accounts and, and stuff to be blocked. But I'm, I'm under the impression that that is not the case with this game pad. And uh, Fly Digi have also confirmed that with me as well. Come on. <laughs> cool. If you love getting mobile gaming, then this will be perfect. He must be really crap. How on earth did he not kill me there? Defeated. Oh well. I enjoyed that game though. Really showed off the capabilities of this Fly Diddy Wasp 2. I mean, if you're feeling really fancy, you could probably incorporate these stingers. Remember the Fly Diddy stingers? Pop one of them on on the other end. You could probably incorporate both of them as well. How brilliant would that be? Yeah, that's the Fly Digi Wasp 2. Very impressed with the device. Pairing the device and connecting was fairly straightforward. But once you've activated it and connected it, you're pretty much you're pretty much good to go. Then you just got to install the games, uh, map the keys on the screen using the Fly Digi Game Center app, and you can test it as well, which I showed you. It's really really easy. Flick the release button. That's it, and I really love that, the M button. Oh, it says M on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice little feature to have, especially for the aim button for me anyway, that was really, really good. Um, on off, turn the device off. Obviously you can, you can charge that when battery does become low. Uh, but yeah, Fly Digi Wasp 2 guys, take a look in the descriptions below. Um, brilliant bit of a gaming kit for a mobile device any questions please comment below give the video a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you very soon bye bye